So you're building yourself a custom gaming PC and you picked yourself up a GeForce GTX card. But there's only one problem. The ugly green GTX logo does not match your current build. Let's do something about that. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can modify the green GTX logo into a white one, which virtually goes well with any color scheme. It's actually quite simple. So here's what you'll need to do to mod your graphics card. Please note that these apply to the NVIDIA GeForce reference cards, so if you have a different GPU, then these steps may not apply to you. So you will need a fine grit sandpaper, the one I'm using in this video is a 320 grit, and by the way I will leave links to all of these down below. I would recommend getting a sponge version of the sandpaper like I did in this video, instead of the regular paper version for convenience. You will also need two hex bits in the following sizes, and one Phillips screwdriver with a very small head. First step is to place your GPU on a flat surface, I would recommend putting it on some cardboard or something similar so you don't damage your graphics card. Oh and a disclaimer before you start, not only are you avoiding the warranty by doing this, but continue at your own risk. I do not take responsibility if you end up damaging your card. Next step is to remove the screws off of the GPU. The four screws around the fan required a smaller hex bit, and the four screws on the left required the larger ones. Some of the screws are glued in tight, so you will need some force to twist them out. The next set of screws you can remove are from the sides. There are a total of two silver screws holding the silver plate on each side of the card. After that, there are two more smaller screws near the back of the GPU and two more in the front that need to be removed. Once those are all out, you are ready to slide out the piece with the word Titan on it. So gently raise it and slide it away from the fan until it pops out completely. Before we can remove the other piece, there are four tiny screws that need to be removed first, and that's where the tiny head screwdriver comes in. Once all four screws are removed, gently raise the final piece until it comes off, but be careful not to pull it out completely. Grab something with a pointy edge and push off the GeForce logo from the metal piece. Use the same tool to press against the small clip that's connecting the logo to the GPU and pull it out. Now comes the fun part. This is gonna take a while so make sure to take lots of breaks and don't overdo it. Grab the sandpaper and start sanding off the green paint off of the logo. Do your best to make sure it gets sanded off evenly. Every 5 seconds stop and make sure that you are not sanding too much. You're only supposed to scrape off the green paint until you see white only. If you sand off too much you will start seeing the black rubber part which means it's time to stop. Feel free to fold the sandpaper any way you like to scrape off the letters that still have some green on them. It's okay if there are black spots here and there, the LEDs are strong enough to shine through them so don't worry too much about that. It's a long and tedious task, especially when you are left with some small green spots on a few letters. So after about 20 minutes I managed to scrape off the majority of the green paint and as you can see there are still some green spots left over. So I went back and took care of those. Once you are satisfied with the outcome it's time to put everything back together. Just repeat the same process backwards and put everything back the way it was. In the end you should have something that looks similar to this. The black spots are normal, it's pretty much impossible to do a perfect job. But once you hook it up and power it on into your system it will look immaculate. So that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, especially if you want to see more modding videos like these in the near future. And also let me know in the comment section down below if you want a detailed video on how to custom paint your graphics cards. It's actually a really simple process and I'll go ahead and do this for you if you guys want to watch it. But yeah, let me know by dropping a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.